Uh, well, uh, mm -hmm. Xie Xie and so uh, I would like uh, first like to present my gratitude to Nathan Hill, uh, our gracious host, uh, and I hope that in this uh, in this talk I will uh, I will uh, continue his uh, glorious uh, tradition of grumpy linguistics. And so uh, today I'm uh, uh, um, sorry Guillaume because I'm not doing something on Garangic because I don't have yet interesting things, things to say about Garangic because uh, that is very unfortunate so I, so, so I took to look a little at this, uh, at this little family of languages called Bai. Uh, so, uh, so the topics, so for, uh, the, uh, the basic uh, how to say it. the basic uh, context of this uh, talk would be that uh, whether uh, whether the Chinese portion of the vocabulary of Bai is something that is uh, uh, that is derived from all Chinese or does it present uh, archaisms uh, uh, in existence in all Chinese and so in order to, uh, so under this background I did a new reconstruction of Proto Bai there are some uh, still some of the details that are not clear but uh, I think I uh, I think in general uh, I uh, uh, I know the I know the I know my reconstruction for for about 90% uh, of the words uh, uh, concerned so I can already give a uh, a very provisional introduction to this new reconstruction, and so I will try to compare my new proto by with the new old Chinese of uh, Baxter and Sagar. So, uh, for the introduction, uh, uh, most uh, uh, the most um, the majority of the basic words of by uh, look very Chinese. Uh, there are some words that don't look Chinese. Uh, so there are two basic positions uh, on the genetic position of Bai. Uh, either Bai is a uh, non-Sinitic with a lot of Chinese loan words, or Bai is simply a Chinese dialect, uh, albeit a very ancient one. Uh, uh, and uh, however, so uh, Wang Feng in 2006 um, advanced a third position, which says that uh, the uh, Bai is a close cousin of Chinese. So there is Sino Bai group, and Bai forms. Uh, have, uh, by this, uh, there are forms reconstructed by one form for proto by which are not uh, able to be explained by uh, by any version of old Chinese. So, uh, so that is presented as evidence to to counter these two first uh, these first two positions, and. Uh, 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 Everyone agrees that if Bai is considered as something like Chinese, then it's a very archaic Chinese. So uh, I have some lexical uh, examples presented here. So for Xin and Dao, they are um, used in mainstream Chinese uh, until uh, respectively 13th century and 4th century. So they are not that ancient. And uh, I indeed, indeed, I find these words in uh, in Wuxiang. So. Uh, Another very very uh, archaic Chinese dialect, uh, but uh, anyway, in in any Chinese dialects that are uh, well known enough to get their way into the uh, into the Xian Dai Han Yu Fang Yan Da Ci Dian, never uh, uh, neither of these four words appear in their right senses. So uh, for e, uh, so to, to put on something to uh, to. To, to wear a piece of clothing and for qin, uh, to sleep, uh, these by words are, imp uh, are impossibly uh, ancient, uh, it's especially for qin, uh, which, which disappeared even from the written language in Han, uh, in Han era texts. So, uh, so there is some, uh, clearly something not right here, uh, and I think that uh, by uh, uh, already uh, comes from uh, this, the Chinese portion of the Bible Bible already comes from a, a somewhat, uh, say, a somewhat uh, peripheral uh, uh, conservative dialect of Southern Chinese. Uh, there must be something like that. And so, uh, our basic sources uh, are one form. Uh, 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 and uh, 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 the in uh, So these are two proto bytes which are uh, quite uh, evidently independently uh, executed because the uh, because while the general direction are the same, but the uh, 
uh, but the uh, concrete solutions adopted are uh, are very different. So I don't think the the two authors know the existence of each other, and uh, uh, so the so the basic dialectology of pi is uh, we have uh, what is called a, a by proper and what is called a Western pi. And for the by proper, you have a, you have central by, which is spoken by the majority of by speakers and some and some uh, peripheral dialects. There is one that, that is very interesting, which is documented in the in the book of one called Ma Zhe Long Bai. And uh, uh, we have also a language called Tai Jia, uh, where the, the Chinese portion of vocabulary uh, looks very similar to Bai, but the um, but the pre Tai Jia or the ETO Tai Jia looks very different from the uh, from the uh, pre Bai. So there are some uh, so so very so very probably uh, it's the same superstrate uh, uh, applied on two uh, two different substrates. So uh, for the tones, uh, everyone knows the uh, everyone knows the uh, correspondence between uh, by tones, but the interpretation in terms of uh, comparison with Chinese is not clear. I don't yet have time to look uh, into this question, but uh, both uh, solutions have some have some defects, and so for now I provisionally so um, subscribe to the solution of Zheng Chang Shang Fang and of uh, and of Yuan uh, Yuan Ningxun. So uh, when when you just uh, look at the uh, when you just look at the proto by uh, reconstructed by uh, Wang Feng and Yuan Mingjun, uh, you see that there are a lot of clusters, and they look uh, imminently uh, uh, comparable to all Chinese clusters. Uh, uh, but I'll show that uh, for most of them, <coughs> it's not the case. And, uh, so, uh, so it's e uh, so it's a, an easier matter for Yuan Mingjun because he has uh, uh, learned uh, historical linguistics from the from the Carolinian uh, from the Carolinian consonants back in school. So if you have something, if you have K in this dialect and P in this dialect, then it's a KP. It, 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 uh, it's how Carolin does things, and, uh, and and we couldn't afford him much. Uh, on this one, so for example, the the mher the mher word cluster uh, is a r in some dialects and an m in some dialects uh, because of uh, assimilation uh, uh, from a rounded uh, from a rounded uh, rhyme, and uh, uh, there is uh, something which comes from the r, so everything is put together to get mher uh, uh, and I think the I think I think the one form reconstruction for the mhe is a uh, uh, so so you have these uh, cases where when if you compare the two reconstructions the uh, the more likely one will follow. But however, for the most important clusters, uh, there is uh, what I have called here a pu mao arhe between uh, Wang Feng and uh, Yuan Mingjun, where you have where you have pre for pre, you have a bie for bie, you have tre for tre, you have tre for tre, uh, you have kre for kre, uh, etc. Uh, so, uh, uh, so in the first part of my talk, I'll uh, examine uh, I'll examine these uh, clusters one by one. Uh, so, let's start with the uh, pr cluster. So, I put the one form form uh, first and the Yuan form in second. Uh, these clusters uh, are characterized by uh, a p uh, by a p by a bilabial uh, reflex in by proper and the like reflex in by parallelized reflex in Western by uh, um, uh, um, uh, some of the most favorite uh, uh, some of the most famous words with with this correspondence are ba so that would be a and and uh, fun that would be brun in the Baxter cigar reconstruction, and which does not differ uh, much from the previous reconstructions. So I think that's why they reconstructed uh, for the uh, for for this correspondence set. But uh, but uh, there there's a dead giveaway uh, for for this because uh, uh, in both reconstruction you have only the pre and never 
V. So, so it has something clearly featured here. And uh, also, uh, the, um, also, uh, man, also, many of the Chinese uh, 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 comparanda does not have, uh, uh, cannot be characterized to have uh, R. So, so for Fei, Lan, Fei to bark, or, uh, or this uh, part of the body that the uh, Tibetans call the symbol of femininity, uh, uh, you, you really you can't have R in the Chinese form, and so, <coughs> and so there's a problem here. And this problem is uh, recognized by Wang Hong himself, who, however, uh, offered is a, it as an example of that uh, by cannot be right. <laughs> so, no Chinese. Okay. So um, uh, the easy uh, so the solution is actually quite easy. So in fact, when you have a b, it's simply b followed by an e. So for what they, for ba, for example, which they will reconstruct a bra, uh, in fact, it's simply a bia. Now, why do I put a e that uh, that belongs to the rhyme rather than a y, which belongs to the uh, which belongs to the um, initial uh, is that uh, there are a certain uh, there is a certain class of uh, pro uh, of uh, uh, by initials uh, so so basically uh, when you have a j or this b uh, and and these two initials uh, so the j is from g or d which is uh, which are capitalized uh, these initials they only uh, occur they mainly occur before a certain uh, uh, before three rhymes so o a and a uh, a uh, so, um, and so uh, later i will reconstruct the prehistory of ya and ya and you all, you only have ya in zhusheng and you only have ya with an either with a nasal final or with a zhusheng so it's very clear that the, this yod uh, is a secondary development uh, from pre by so it should appear, so it should belong to the rhyme. Okay. Uh, now that pr uh, is revised to some kind of a bia, uh, then the problem goes that uh, uh, Wang and Yuan have uh, both uh, very correctly uh, reconstructed, uh, uh, very correctly reconstructed the labial dentals as a bia. Uh, so there is a problem. So if we have pia and the pia, uh, who which have a different, uh, which have different uh, modern reflexes, then uh, then in what ways are they different? Well, if we look at the if we look at the words with pia in 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 central by, they always have a vu as the rhyme. So. Uh, and if we look at other words uh, where you have vu in central by, they always come from. Uh, 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 you, uh, you look at it and it's nu, yu, shu. Of course, shu is a shu in modern Mandarin. Uh, you also have gui from gui, so, uh, uh, and you will say zhu in Chinese. So, so, uh, so, the, so the Chinese comparanda of vu in central by is always yu ish. So, uh, uh, so I would imagine v coming from something which like uh, which is like u, and in fact you have two sets of uh, vowel correspondences for a central by with v in other dialects. So either they correspond to either they correspond to front vowels or to o like vowels. So uh, I reconstruct those with front vowel correspondence as u, uh, and the those with u uh, like correspondence. Uh, so when you have central by uh, it comes either from u or u, and uh, this this reconstruction uh, uh, works quite well when you when you look at the words with uh, uh, with uh, labial dentals in in by. So for example, for fei which is bu, uh, you have a bu. For fen bun you have bun. For bi bit you have bu. For fu, uh, so biu, you have a bu. This is not uh, very good, but uh, but there is something that I will explain later. And so for for stomach, you have biu. For for the bi, you have biu. So uh, so at least uh, my uh, my solution uh, uh, looks like that it would work. Uh, 
And so uh, there are um, two words that merit uh, special attention. So you have liu and ju. Uh, liu has a, has a l in Middle Chinese, which corresponds to uh, uh, to uh, uh, lh in proto mean. So it should ideally, uh, as I will explain la later, have a ge in in proto bai. And for ju, you have a ge in Chinese. So, so these two words should uh, should be fu in, <coughs> in in central by, but in fact you have fu. Uh, the other difference is that uh, uh, when you have real labial dentals, you have uh, the uh, the long by uh, uh, preserves the original non non labial dental initial, while in while for these two words, uh, even long by has uh, has. Mm, labial dental initials, and it, uh, and it and it could not be an, uh, a borrowing because even in Taixia, which is uh, 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 mm -hmm. which is not by but related, you have a fu for six, which cur uh, which uh, contrasts with fu for to fly. So uh, so these two words are uh, belong to another. Uh, belong to another initial. Uh, however, I don't have a good uh, I don't have a good solution for it because uh, we also have gu, uh, with which which comes from either ju or ju, uh, which means to sit and to live, uh, uh, with almost the same uh, with the same etymology. So ju is uh, uh, is homon is homophone with ju in 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 every form of Chinese. Yet they are not uh, homophone in Bai. So for now, I uh, I just uh, retain this uh, P thing, but I but, but it's um, most probably uh, incorrect. Mm, so now that uh, Wu comes either comes from Yu and Yu, uh, we can we can use this uh, hypothesis to uh, to resolve another problem uh, in the in the preceding in the preceding uh, reconstructions of uh, proto Bai. Uh, so. Uh, there is this kind of words where you uh, uh, we take the ghost for example uh, you have gu in in central bai and you have zh uh, in western bai so the a in in open in lbz it, it comes from uh, comes from a kind of u so it's uh, so 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 basically the correspondence is gu uh, versus zhu versus uh, and if you look at the etymology of this word, it's clear that it comes from uh, uh, it's clear that it comes from a kind of uh, proto by yu, and uh, you, you have the same set of uh, uh, of Chinese etyma as uh, as what is uh, as what is for the uh, for the yu in the labial dental words. So so I will just reconstruct them as gu. Q, uh, gu, and ru. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain uh, the uh, what I think about uh, how the words uh, got u in, uh, if you wish, uh, in, in the question time. And so it contrasts with uh, with the words like uh, to sit. Uh, so so this will have. Uh, so this will come from. Gu, uh, and when you have Q, you have Gu Gu Gu. Yes. Uh, now the now the final uh, uh, now there are three other uh, correspondence sets which are reconstructed as tr tr and the j in the uh, in the different reconstructions. Uh, they are uh, in fact quite uh, easy to uh, uh, to uh, there is, there is a very clear com complementary uh, distribution between the three. So uh, and and all of them are reflected as a t in central bias. So in one way, uh, it's central bias that uh, that looks more archaic because where where while there are mergers, the mergers uh, there are, are not a complex splits that uh, uh, that mm, depend on the depend on the rhyme. Uh, so, uh, so basically, uh, the 
the conclusion of this uh, of this new proto buy is that uh, uh, you can you can just use central buy you can just use central buy in the comparison with a few caveats. So a central buy zu could come from u and u, and a central buy zi could either come from zi or j. Uh, but that but that's all. Uh, central buy ge could come from ge and ge, uh, and for these things you go to the dialects. But uh, otherwise the uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, m uh, many in the much in the variation in the dialects are not meaningful. There, uh, there might be some, but I'll look that into that later. So now, uh, 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 so now, uh, uh, what uh, what I have understood from the preceding reconstructions is that uh, you can just basically take central by as uh, uh, as almost the same thing as proto by. Uh, however, uh, uh, so. So now the revolution is done. The eggs are broken. So, so we would like to see some of the omelets. Uh, so, so, so we have two of uh, of uh, the omelets, uh, which which concern rather uh, the evolution from a pre proto buy to a uh, proto buy, which is almost the same thing as in, as modern central buy. So first we have uh, this vowel. Uh, uh, which I reconstruct following one form as a. Uh, so in central by, uh, in some dialects you have a, in some dialects, in some dialects you have er. Uh, you have some, you have what is kind of reconstructed as er, uh, and uh, I, I have forgotten to put the examples here, but most of them come from Chinese art. So, so ultimately they, they come from Chinese. Uh, so there, there is a, a connection here uh, between the rotic, uh, between the R colored, uh, between the R colored vowel of of some central by dialect and uh, and the R of uh, uh, and the R of uh, all Chinese. Uh, however, uh, uh, some of the some of these words with uh, uh, with proto by a uh, has no R in Chinese. So, for example, uh, 名 名字的名, 然后丁, 丁字的丁, uh, nails, 赤, uh, red, uh, 赤壁, 赤壁之战的赤壁, uh, B is for uh, B is for uh, 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 not really walls, but uh, 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 the So the thing is that uh, for uh, these uh, for these words where you have uh, where you have uh, proto by a which corresponds to uh, which corresponds to uh, Chinese elements that has no Rs, uh, they uh, they are either, they have either a nasal they have either a nasal coda reflected as a nasalization in modern by, or they are Zhushan words. So, what the, um, and if you look at the etymology, they come either from n or ek, uh, either in either in Middle Chinese or in Old Chinese. So, uh, I will reconstruct uh, this uh, sound uh, th these two sound changes, yan and yak, um, which come from n and ek. <coughs> So that's why you have, for example, ding, which is jia in bai, because uh, because ding becomes jia, uh, which uh, where the where the secondary yod, uh, where the secondary yod uh, palatizes the the original the to uh, So um, uh, uh, I I uh, I also um, succeeded in. Uh, in the so uh, finding an etymology for a problem for a problematic word which is gap to catch because uh, uh, this is etymologized as uh, uh, as a the ge, but ge is a second division word which uh, always have a a in proto by uh, uh, an uvular in proto by but this uh, doesn't have uvular uh, so uh, and also in a ge, it doesn't mean to catch uh, ge, which is, uh, nobody knows what ge, ge, which is means and uh, aside from this Aside from this example, uh, ge simply means to go to somewhere. For example, in uh, 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 in the in the Chinese version of the uh, uh, in the Catholic version of the Lord's Prayer, it said "Ar Guo Ling Ge" for uh, for that kingdom come. And so, 
uh, I found another word, uh, sadly, in the dictionary, uh, which is uh, ji, so gip, uh, so, uh, so the former correspondence and the, uh, and the meaning is perfect, but it's a, dic it's a dictionary word which uh, only exists in Shouwen uh, Jie, in Guangyun, etc. So not that good, but better than Ke, anyway. Uh, the other thing that uh, that uh, that is difficult is the uh, the the form yeah, uh, for eight. Is, uh, this is this, thank you. This is simply not logical, and uh, and however, uh, when you have app words uh, in. Uh, in Zhu Sheng, it always come. Uh, uh, it never come from a T a word that ends in T. So, uh, so I hypothesize that Bia uh, come from uh, a bat, which of course uh, originally comes from bread. Uh, and there are uh, a couple of other examples. So Sha and Shui Ta the Ta otters. And uh, and for peace, you have you have ya and ya, which looks like the same thing, but I'm not that sure. And when you have a uvular initial, it has the more regular treatment. And so so this is a, a brief presentation of my new protobi, which is just the same thing as uh, a modern central bi. And uh, finally, uh, uh, let's take a look at the comparison with Chinese. Uh, so first, uh, there there is uh, there are high tone there are high register sonorants and low register sonorants in proto bi, but apparently uh, all Chinese uh, all Chinese words with uh, sonorants are reflected as high tone sonor are reflected as high tone sonorants, uh, irrespective uh, whether uh, proto mean has high tone or low low tone sonorants. So uh, uh, you have only you have only four more and. Uh, uh, and the uh, yin in this example, which are probably cultural words, uh, so uh, this is not very meaningful. Uh, however, the reflexes of a Chinese limu is very interesting. Um, so, from liu to li, you have a ge, ge, and ye, which is a very late uh, parallelization of ge in bai, and you have le in jian yang. And you have, uh, and you have non prefix uh, r in in Baxter cigar. Uh, for force and sharp, uh, I think uh, I think uh, there are other mean dialects with uh, with a s or with high tone forms. So f uh, for which reason Baxter cigar reconstructed grug and uh, uh, something reads. And uh, uh, so so these are exceptions. But uh, anyway, Tianya had Tianya had this, uh, uh, probably from uh, literary borrowings. On the other hand, when you have g in or when you have g in bai, uh, you always have s in jian yang with uh, with prefix with prefix uh, r's in Chinese. Uh, it doesn't work for the word for plow, uh, which has a l which has a l in jian yang, and I have uh, also looked at the ke jia. It has a low toned uh, ping sheng. So uh, I don't know about this one, but anyway, so so the correspondence is uh, quite solid. Uh, one of the more interesting thing is that uh, uh, for the word snake, uh, which Baxter Sagar reconstructed uh, with uh, unclear uh, 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 voiceless R, I, I I don't know why, but uh, but it. Uh, but it uh, is in perfect accordance uh, uh, with the by data because in proto by now uh, corrected uh, it has q and uh, so uh, so so you have a nice g g k for old chinese r and uh, the prefix r and uh, this, this, sorry there is a typo here so for uh, a voiceless for voiceless r uh, what this means in terms of phonetic reality of late old Chinese sonorants uh, uh, is a matter of discussion, but I think it's highly interesting. And uh, the other, the other thing in, of uh, interest is that you have you have three cases where you have a uvulus in bai, which corresponds into a sandong, uh, into sandong rhymes in Chinese. Uh, there is a yin zi de yin. Uh, which has a Baxter cigar uh, uvular, and you have a Jin Tian de Jin, thank you, and the Huang Jin de Jin, which means uh, copper in Bai and uh, gold in Cai Jia. 
uh, these two also have uh, uvers in protobi. Uh, so uh, the, the the paleographers think that uh, the the words ting and ting are written uh, with this phonetic. Uh, with this phonetic uh, component, uh, which exists, for example, also in the yin tian de yin. So, so there is a yin, yin mu, jian mu uh, contact here, which might point to other, uh, to other uh, uberverse mm. uh, in the, in the Baxter's guard system, while they are not reconstructing the current one. So, uh, so the, uh, finally, there are a few points of, uh, mm, a few, Miscellaneous uh, points of interest. So there is Qing with a ch in proto by, uh, which corresponds to Zhang Zhu uh, in Chinese. So it's like a, so it's like a Cheng in. It will correspond to Cheng in modern Chinese. Uh, so I still have. That. Okay. Mm, so that mm, <coughs> uh, this would mean that uh, it uh, it would not worth the time to really. Uh, uh, reconstruct different things for uh, for affricating and non-affricating Chinese skirts. <coughs> Sorry. And finally, uh, uh, the uh, so so you have bring for the all the in previous protobites, but now you have bin, and it corresponds to the uh, central dialect form in Shiming. So in Shiming, it says that uh, in in Yan Yu Si Heng, it is uh, pronounced. Uh, with uh, with uh, in Yan Yu Si, it is pronounced with Heng Kao, B E E and He Chuan M B I M, unlike B I M in 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 Shandong dialect, and so uh, and so uh, Bai has the central dialect form for Tian and uh, uh, possibly, but it's not uh, that sure uh, for Xi, which is Xian in in Han Wei in Han Wei poem uh, in Han Wei poetry. So uh, apparently, compared with main uh, with modern mainstream Chinese, Bai consistently show the features belonging to the archaic central dialect, while uh, while modern uh, mainstream Chinese uh, show forms <coughs> belonging to the archaic Shandong dialect, uh, and and that's all I wanted to say. Thank you.